So hi guys. Red Dead Redemption 2 with me, Supernatus. Sorry guys, I just need to make sure that we've got our live video up and running. Apparently we don't. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but uh, I'm having some problems finding my stream. I think that's it. Okay, hi guys, and welcome to another stream with me, Supernatus. Uh, we're back playing a PC adventure game. As, you know, something different to do. Uh, so let's get into it. This is a cyberpunk uh, adventure game. Uh, developed, I believe, on uh, Adventure Game Studios software. Uh, it's Neo Feud. Uh, I've been saying a decent amount about this. Um, there is somebody actually, the, the developer of it is somebody that followed me on Twitter. I'm uh, following him on Twitter as well. Uh, was it Silver Shroud, I believe, is the. Uh, Silver Spook Games, sorry. Silver Spook Games, the Silver Shroud is, of course, a Fallout thing. Uh, yeah, Silver Spook Games. Uh, Christian Miller, I believe the person is. Uh, developed this game entirely. On his own, I believe, uh, using that 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 software. Uh, I have to say, if I was able to develop a game like that, I believe I'd probably use the same system myself. Uh, but let's get on with things. Let's. Hang on a sec. I just want to make sure. If you are there, let me know if the sound is coming through as clearly as I'd like it to. There. Uh, but let's get going. We're going to play Neo Feud. We're going to see what this is all about. Uh, enjoy. I've had a look through the settings. There's not an awful lot to change. Uh, sound and voice you can obviously adjust. I might take the music down just a little lower than the sound and voice, just as it's something I, I often do. Uh, and I'm not going to adjust the speed because I'm not entirely sure what that's going to do. Presumably it'll just make the text and things move a little bit quicker, I guess. Uh, so for now, it's Neo Feud. It's time to play. So let's start. And I'm already enjoying the music. We're starting a new game. And we will play the intro because we've never played the game before. Is there some kind of royal palace? Was that Boris Johnson in the middle there with a haircut? I'm not sure. The Golem Project has been activated. Rollout will be finalized within the week. Excellent. Prototypes. Oh, clearly not. We Somebody else entirely. Metropoles on a tight leash. The defectives will be disposed of or recycled. Some this sort of confederate general? Well, we'll see. I don't see why we must treat them this way. They are sentient beings. Sentient They're beings. Feeling individuals. Just like, is that like that, that, that sequence? Anthropomorphism. When, uh, in Star Trek The Next Generation when they were trying to deactivate and deconstruct data. For all this location. Continuum alterations will prove a liability. An unfortunate oversight, but we are yes, this was a uh, one-man developed game from what I understand. Has gone rogue. And is in... I believe the top 20 uh, cyberpunk games of 2018. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that to me is, a, is always a plus. Uh, obviously we played uh, previously Gemini Rue, which had a bit of that about it. And there's some other ones of those that I'd be interested in playing as well. So, you know, you attach cyberpunk to the name, I'm going to play it. I like it. It's like a floating palace, like Buckingham Palace in the sky. The kingdom of heaven opened. Kind of reminds me of to the chosen. Or perhaps we are the sort of pyramid thing there. Kind of reminds me of a something called Immortal, the bugs will be which had like um, the defective prototypes recycled. Yes, they were the got. They were representations of Egyptian gods living in like a floating castle. Is 
is uh, related to someone called Enki Bilal, I believe. Okay, so we have a bearded gentleman with a mechanical hand. And he's smoking. Oh. Ah. Don't you just hate that when you reach your, when you reach your smoking limit? God damn social justice AI. <laughs> What the hell is this traffic? This is traffic. Ah, so barcodes instead of uh, instead of license plates. Well, like barcode license plates, I guess. Well, there's a flying car. See, some people have them. Oh, right. Too bad I wasn't born with this sort of stuff. But yeah, so they do exist. Here's one that's in the design of like a really old style, one of the early flying car designs, isn't it? <sighs> Stupid Cyberon glitching out again. Ah, well, I can't afford to fix it right now, and I'm so, already late. He doesn't have money, or enough money to fix things. Is that Henry VIII walking across that road? Crosslandia City Department of Sentient Did Species. Did I bring my mileage receipts? There's a long okay, queue, so you've got good. plenty of time to find them. I'll need that cash for rent. Fiscal better not cheap out on me again. I'm already surviving on krill paste and soy mm, manuals to make Lovely. Lovely. Damn arm. You dropped something, buddy. You dropped something on the ground. Oh, now you're in trouble. I don't have a card for this lock. My office is 105. Uh, wait, what? Click that and then... I'll hack this together. A DIY duct tape wallet. Hack this together after my last one got jacked in the projects and I couldn't afford a new one. It's got theft camo. Slum dogs don't realise it's a wallet. Plus I get compliments from hipsters who think it's chic. Win-win. Got some chewing gum there. Son of a bitch. Dropped his consciousness oh, card. Drop my consciousness card back in the lobby. I better find that card, and the boss is gonna roast my butt. Doesn't sound good. Best not to have your butt roasted, I find. Guess we better go back then. Where's the door out of there? Oh yeah, just go that way to the lobby. That would make sense. And someone's half inched my card. Damn, where the hell is my card? I better go ask around. Yeah, I don't know. Let's speak to... Who's this? Got a little child. Well, she looks like a little child, but she's got a horn. Maybe she's like a... I don't know. Let's talk to her. Hey, sweetheart. You happen to see a shiny little card lying on the ground? Maybe. Oh, she's like an octopus girl. Hmm. Spit it out, kid. I already spit my gum out before I came in. What? No, I'm not talking about gum. Oh, come on. Ah, yeah, I really need please, that card. my card. You have to give it to me. Hmm. What's in it for me? Oh, okay, huh? so it looks like I've somehow come Tell across the right stick, person. Girl, you're like a pint sized hustler. Somehow okay, we've come Mrs. across the right person. That's how she gets the high places. You see, because she's she's quite small, so she'd have been more likely to notice it, was my pro thought. Pro yeah, but she's got like squid arms. What do you want? How about a piece of gum? I oh, yeah, I've got gum. Before I came in. Okay, deal. Wait, wait. You just spit your gum out, and now you want me to get you a new one? She can't be without her gum for too long. You're not a pony princess. You can't have... Okay, let's, let's talk, talk about someone about else. else. Bye-bye. Right, so in my wallet... Oops. I want to look at that, because it's got gum inside it. Okay, so we've got the gum out of our wallet, and now we can pick it up, I guess, and give it to Starla. Okay. The pony princess. Here's your gum. At least that's what she now wants to be called. Excuse me about my notifications. Oh, yay! Thanks, mister. Nuclear winter, my favorite. Nuclear flower. winter. Merry Christmas. Lovely. Now, about my squid pro quo. Yeah, where's my card? Well, I did see 
never dropped the card on the ground when your robot arm started going Yeah, where did it go? Then that angry don't, don't. lady in the purple shirt with hair that looks like an angry purple porcupine? I saw her snatch your card. The one over there? She also bribed that trench coat hobo guy to cut in line. Oh, did she? Uh, thanks for the solid tip. What's your name, girl? Starla. Starla? You drive a tough bargain. So... Highness, but at least you make good on your word. I guess it's the lady over there. The princess always pays her debts. The punk-looking bot girl. I'll keep an eye out on lifestyle. Who do we have? We have a nano augmented hobo. Isn't that exciting? A Zeph looking robo chick. Don't recognize her, but sentient machines can change faceplates like humans change clothes. That's why they got to do consciousness tests to confirm identity nowadays. Soul scan. So I have to walk over to her, do I? Except I'm going to get in trouble for cutting line, probably. We have my card back, thanks. You better give me my consciousness validation. Yeah, don't steal from me. Before I report your spunky little punk ass to your parole officer. Uh huh. Yes, you are. Look, I'm not gonna turn you in, okay? I'm just an underpaid. Yeah, he's no, you know, whose job he's not got much going for him, so come on. And sentient machines like yourself get back on their feet. But I can't do my job unless I get my consciousness validation card back. In fact, I'll probably get fired. So please, help me help you. Come on then. Uh, look, you seem like a nice guy. Well, but I really got no the girl told me you picked up. I ain't no cop. Yeah, yeah. Know this. Cause you're the one found my ID and failed to report it. Identity theft on you, sister. You're looking at at least a year in Costlandia corrections. In corrections. That's bullshit, Piggy. And stay away from my hardware. I know how this entrapping game works. Well, just give me my card and I don't have to do any of it. Do I? I ain't no cop, sweetheart. I'm a sentient services social yeah. worker. I hand out food stamps and housing to needy machine peoples just like you. I don't think she cares. Well, I'm a sentient machine, right? And I have sentient rights, like the ones who remain... Yeah, but I'm not police, so... You... Your right to remain silent is relevant in this situation. Okay, looks like I have to speak to the security guard then. Where's the security guard? Where's the security guard? Come on, where's the security? There he is. Okay. Now we have to do this the hard way. Officer, uh, I'd like to report a theft. I have reason to believe that woman in the purple shirt stole my consciousness validation card. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have probable cause? Any evidence to support your accusation? Yeah, the, the the girl with the squid arms. Check CCTV footage of the lobby, 847 AM. The all-seeing eye of the state will have caught her red-handed. Yeah. Downloading footage now. Can I see it? Right. I have visual confirmation of the theft. Well, there we go. HQ, we've got a 484 requesting backup. Suspect is possibly armed and dangerous. Request authorization to use lethal force. Okay. Now. Lethal force? She's a petty robot. Yeah, well, you Not see. You should have thought about that before you terrorist with a thermion bomb went and spoke to security. To Isn't that a little overkill? You can never be too careful with these That's robot true. types. Do you want me to engage the suspect or not? Sorry, sorry. Engage, Engage away. away. She's in trouble. She could have just given me my card. It would have been all well and good. Would have been out of the way. Freeze. You have the right to a trial by firing squad. <laughs> huh? What? Okay, okay. Don't shoot. Well, I told you. Something tells me Officer John Wayne here hasn't had proper use of force police training. 
budget cuts being what they are and all. Just give him a card. Get on the ground now. Any thoughts, memories, or neural data in your wetware is now property of Coastlandia City. That's a little extreme, isn't it? <laughs> Talk, right, girl? Okay, okay. Just get this jackbooted psycho off me. Uh, you, you know what, officer? Uh, I think I made a mistake. I just found my card under my virtual gym membership. Don't be careful. Sorry, I might get arrested now for wasting uh, his time. Oh, okay then. Carry on. Yeah, go back to harassing whoever you were harassing Coast over there. Your courts will automatically convict any non-human robot we throw in front of them. CFC is just trying to be helpful. Especially the sentient machine subdivision. Chrome gangs in there Check. will take you apart. Just need to do something. Check something. Well, that's fine. Circuit from gear. Break your pretty little yeah, I was trying to help her. And grind them into shanks. I was trying to make it easier I for her, wasn't I? And you can forget this ever happened. Just because I've made it to silicon and aluminium, I must be doing something wrong. That's machine stereotype. Yeah, whether that's true or not. That's reality, that is. It doesn't make any difference. Citizens. Now give me that whether you're good or bad last chance. makes no difference. Wait, wait. Let's just say someone did take your card. I'm listening. Maybe she wasn't just a hardened criminal. Maybe she was just a girl in a tight spot with a kid to think of, you know? I'd say she should have thought harder about the consequences for her kid before she started jacking IDs. That would be probably true, yeah. You're right. But let's say she'd been trying for a year for a job and no one wants to hire a robot. That would be a shame. Last time she came to Sentient Services for her welfare and energy scan, they did a brain scan and they denied her benefits because her neurons didn't pass the sentience test. Uh, th that okay. can happen. If you're, if, if she's a thinking, feeling person inside and out, and not just a toaster. We got Cylons in this game? The Takeda consciousness test will show that. Are you so sure that the test is So is this like a... Like camp test and uh, Blade Runner, I guess. Should point out that Blade Runner is probably one of my favorite films. Even if you're right, I could get in serious so, trouble. If there's some elements of that, I can enjoy that. Consciousness here, mind fraud. Please, I'm. The girl's probably just doing this for her baby girl boss. So her daughter can have some energy to eat. Do you think so? Yeah, right. Head. She's trying, but sometimes she has to fudge things because she's got no other choice in this system. She's got a special mod chip. To well, as long as she doesn't steal she my card. She'll owe you, big time. I know I'm gonna regret this somehow. Probably, you probably will. Jail with you. What the hell? This job is its own kind of prison, I guess. Gonna need that car back after, though. Really? Thank you. Thank you, mister. Carl. Carl's just fine. You, know, you should be careful. You're trusting her. Yeah, you're trusting someone called Jezebel. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna Seems work legit. on my jujitsu and my right hook now. In case we end up in the slammer. Good luck, Jezebel. I still can't get to work, though. Well, here we go. I better stick around till I get my consciousness validation card back. Sign and date here and here. Okay. What is this? That's the address. This is the location of a condemned housing project which is reverted to a landfill, <laughs> not a real residence. Well, so you say. I'm on the section 9 public housing waiting list at the moment. Um <sighs> Well, you'll need a legal residence oh, within the I next see where 30 this is days, going. or your sentient machine benefits may be revoked. I see where this is going. So you're saying I can't get assistance unless I already have assistance. That's a catch. Well, that's bureaucracy for you, isn't it? I have a kid. Please lower your voice, miss. And that is not my problem. I can't believe. In order to be eligible for support, you will be required to pass a Gertzel Takeda consciousness test. A score of 4.1 is required to confirm human level sentience. Please note that individuals scoring below a 4.1 may be classified as subhuman and may have their citizenship revoked. 
and all property confiscated by the city state of Oh, now you see the, uh, the violence inherent in the system, eh? For human applicant. This is so messed up. Please insert your cranium, neural net, or other synaptic substrate into the quantum encephalograph. I can't believe I have Sounds good. I'm a real person. This is so demeaning. Let's get this over. Neither can I. You got so many robotic parts that you know, it should be pretty obvious you're not. I mean, I don't really know an awful lot yet about this, I suppose, so I can't be totally certain about that, but she certainly appears to have a lot of replaced parts. Mm-hmm. You scored a consciousness quotient of 3.9. You qualify Ouch. as a pet or livestock, however, not sentient enough to be considered a person. This isn't Is she just shoulders and a head behind a desk, do you think? I'm sorry, ma'am. Regulations She's one of, like one of those taxis in Total you Recall. You a consciousness quotient of 4.1 and above to qualify as a fully conscious and sentient entity. This isn't fair. These humans don't have to... I'm just throwing out random ideas. So don't, you know, know. don't mind me. Humans are sentient persons by default, ma'am. They have personhood by heredity. What makes you so goddamn special just because you got the right double helix of DNA? This is that... What's well, it called? You don't presumably have any DNA. Security, Very please little. escort this non-sentient humanoid imposter to the exit immediately. <laughs> Just as I thought, a thief and a terrorist. Oh, there we go. He's back again. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! Oh god, this isn't happening. This is not happening. <laughs> Carmen, what have you got yourself into? Uh, well, he, he's crazed. Maximus Herzenegger. He's not leaving till he guns down a few evil machines and takes their metal heads as trophies. Uh, your hey, safety's buddy. on. Your safety's on. You're not gonna terminate any terminators like that. What? Oh, right. Thanks. Get your head back down. Well, that didn't really do much good, did it? Hey, buddy. Your you think you'll think you'll fall for it again? Terminate any terminators like that. What? Oh, right. Thanks. Wait. Get your head. He's gonna down. fall for that every time. Well, okay. Hey, who's that behind you? What? Run away! Father, this... Run away! No, nope, that's not gonna work. You need to put that gun away right now. Yeah, there we go. That might work. Two weeks mandatory suspension for discharging a weapon without cause. Yeah, what's she done? For shooting a sentient machine in a She's not, office, you know, giving the hurt anybody. This, another viral bot shooting video and causing a liberal media field day. Think about it. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. All I know is I'm taking this tin can scum in. Dead, deactivated, or alive. <laughs> Jesus, man, she's, she's not got. She's got it. nothing. She's not, not fighting you. She's not just, doing anything. Put the gun down. You've got to show these tin cans that you mean business. I saw this technique in that movie. Kill machine. What technique? Two. Standing there pointing a gun at someone. I think there's plenty of other movies that. Uh, hey, buddy, your safety's on. I wonder. Not the safety probably like wasn't that. on the first time, which means. Oh, right. Thanks. Don't turn it off. Then on, then off again. Why's the safety on? That's better. <laughs> See? Okay. Well, I guess that's not how you do it then. He's not leaving until he guns down evil machines and takes their metal heads as trophies. Maybe I should try hitting him from a distance. With what? What's that? So it's a letter opener, but maybe it'll work. I fought the law before, the law won, and burned me on the altar of public opinion. Better choose my battles more wireless. More wirelessly? Did I do it to her? No? Okay. What else have we got? What's that? I'll need Zephcetlin and compressed oxygen to get this cutting torch running. 
I don't think I can use that on him then, uh, I guess. Can we throw it at him? I guess not. What else have we got? A taser. It looks like that's that's the thing we would like to use if we can. Dead battery. Where can I charge it? Is there somewhere I can charge it? I guess in the power outlet that I can see right there in front of me. Just plug it in my... Oh yeah, so if I tell him that there's someone behind him, like we did before... Who's that over there? Who's that behind you? What? Then I can plug that into the outlet. Just you stay turned that way, just you keep looking at the There's person no there, you who's not there. And then I'll tase you. Time put your lights out. Yeah, it looks like that didn't work! But maybe if I tell him to turn round again. I can tase him. Oops, so I gotta plug that back in the outlet. Because it's depleted. Then I need to let him turn around. And then talk to him again. And tell him there's someone behind him again, I guess. Already checked, there's no one there. Alright. So that's not gonna work again. Well what about his hey, safety's buddy. on. Your safety's on. No, that's not gonna work. Hey, already check. No, that's not gonna work now. As an option, that just isn't gonna work again. She's not interested in talking to us. So how am I gonna tase him? Because as soon as I walk towards him, I'm gonna get shot. Oh ho ho! Wait wait wait. I told him the safety was on, which means Time put your lights out. That should Hey, what the hell is wrong? Yeah, with we got him. It doesn't belong in the hands we of got a trigger happy speech. Just shoot him, don't pretending to be a cop. No, you don't what? That's not even a funny one liner, what are you doing? On, idiot. Fry him. You fried mall cop on the ground. I've got skin in this game too. If they caught you with my card, I'd be axed from my SS gig. However shitty and humiliating it may be, I need the money. His SS gig. I'm gonna need that car back, of course. Like I'm gonna get to keep my job after electrocuting the security guard. I'll make a self-defense claim. The Coastlandia government will want to avoid being dragged through the mud in the hypermedia. Another untrained, unstable cop opens fire in government office is a bad meme during election cycle. That's probably yeah, true. I'm used to men, though. Don't that is me. probably true. Yeah. Take care of that kid. I'll figure something out. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? No. Anyway, <laughs> not a whole lot of people give a shit about sentient machines nowadays. Not a whole lot of people give a shit about anything. That's true I'll as well. See you, Carl. See ya. Jezebel. Yeah, bye. What a goddamn mess. <laughs> I'd say. I'll say it is. Did she give me my card back? By the way, I guess she did because we're in her office. That's the phone. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> Good morning. Department of Sentient Services. Carl Carbon speaking. Carbon? You're That's real name. Bastard that took my baby, ain't you? Well, you can go to hell. I'm fit mother my ass. Oh, uh, ma'am, please calm down. I know where you live, asshole. My baby oh. daddy's gonna cap your ass with his gold-plated Uzi. Ma'am, there's really no reason to. Interesting. Only one death threat this morning. Well, that was good, wow. then. It's shaping up to be a light day. Death threat. Well, I've still got my taser out. I could, always, I could always tase myself or my monitor. I guess we can't tase our monitor. But it's time to go home. What have we got? Can we look at anything? Workstation where I slave away on reports and enter endless data into spreadsheets. 
to support the fat salaries of administrators and bureaucrats. Well, bureaucrats are always bad, so, you know, there's that. Oh, I like the music. It's very Blade Runner. Government Standard Filing Cabinet. Can we open it? Just a million miles of case files. Poet, and you didn't know it, eh? Nothing critical. Anything different than this one? Nope, same again. What's this? We can't look at the stuff on the wall. Some tissues. Dirty boy. Uh, oh, I can get a pen. Can I take the pen? Might need a pen. Should always take a pen. What else have we got? You always need a pen. I'll need a pen. Okay, so we have a pen. And now we can do our paperwork. Miles and miles of casework. When I get to hell, it'll be reports of phone calls and phone calls from my ex-wife. Wait, maybe I'm already there. Yeah, probably. Probably, buddy. Click the papers to fill out this child custody status application. Sure thing. Cannot have the pen as an attachment on his on his arm. Click the papers again to complete this interdepartmental transfer request. Sure thing. And again to do more mindless soul deadening drudgery. Not just work in general, guys. I hate this flacking job, I feel like Sisyphus, but pushing a pen instead of a boulder. And across paper, not up a hill. Yeah. Oh, he's fallen asleep again. And then the phone rings to wake him up, but he carries on doing... That really is drudgery, isn't it? Carbon, why the hell don't you answer your communicator? Are you sleeping on the clock again? Doing them! What the hell? reports done yesterday. Calm but down. No, sir. I mean, uh, yes, sir. I was uh, working. I was just uh, finishing up the last a TPS, TPS report, report really. Suffer. Oh, don't forget. You've got to get out if you to see just, your favorite uh, robot kid today. Go ahead and come in Sunday. That'd be great. Johnny Silica? Yeah, right. He was MIA at his parole hearings. Counseling session. Office space, eh? Got any red staplers? for assaulting a robotic police officer. So I was told bitch. I could play my own music at an acceptable volume. I mean, uh, sorry, sir. The boys That's a, a real terrible loose impression. Cannon. He's your loose cannon, Carbon. You're his social worker, so socialize him. He's a humanoid, and you're practically half toaster yourself with that vintage neck arm. Be a father figure or some shit. I'm half toaster I'll because I've got an sir. arm that's. Can yeah, I okay. ask if my fun request for a new cyber arm went through? The actuators are shorting out on no, this bad. one, and it almost caused a car crash. Uh, I mean, it's hurting my. Almost caused a car crash. Oh, denied, Carbon. Budget Crunch has a Coslandia city. Yeah, okay. So instead, I'm gonna have a. Last time I checked, you're a goddamn one arm that pariah. doesn't Dishonorably discharged. work. Lucky to have a meal ticket and a roof above your head. My roof is a piece of corrugated polycarbon, sir, and it leaks. So, it, didn't the city report a fifty billion dollar surplus doesn't care. last fiscal quarter? That was before the tax cuts. The subsidies he for doesn't and the care. rest was used for that new country club arcology. Tough nails, tin man. Just handle your client. Handle your client. Yes, sir. What an ass head. <laughs> That's true. That, that that he most certainly is. Does that mean we have to get back to the old paperwork? I don't have to do any more paperwork today. Yay! I don't have to do anything, and if I so much as look up a movie time on Dan Fango. I'll be docked a day's pay for using company infrastructure for non-work purposes. Why is there blood on this table? And it looks like bullet holes. So now more, we got our phone. Can we use the phone? No, we don't need to use our phone. I don't think there's anything else we need to use. Oh, a Himalaya of paperwork. So that's where my screwdriver was. Screwdriver. Buried under the blizzard. Always a useful item. That's great. Anything else? Snow capped. Snow capped paperwork of mountains. Or snow capped mountains of paperwork. I'm just being a little pedantic, I'm sorry. So far, I'm enjoying things. Can I go out? No, don't wave your arm up and down like you're furiously. 
all that pencil pushing has got my arm you know, actuators all flared up. <laughs> you know where I'm going I'm with that find one. find a Sonique screwdriver and get this damn thing tuned up. Or I'll be six feet under triplicate documents. I guess that's what the screwdriver is for. Olive oil too. I know it's around her somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tissues and olive oil, eh? I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask. Well, but is it under there? Because, yeah, okay, that. Presumably I can use on my arm, but. Yeah, obviously the screwdriver doesn't go to a screwdriver. That would be silly. Could we take apart the filing cabinet? No, that's not what I was intended to. So there's, there's olive oil here somewhere? Snow capped paperwork mountain. I feel like I just didn't read that right the first time, do you know that? Okay, but where? Can we go anywhere across here? Is there any other part to this room? Or is it just a really not very good desk? I take it we can't exit until we've done this. Better repair my arm. So I found the screwdriver. Where's the olive oil? It's a very... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I've definitely not got it there. Olive oil. And if olive oil's here, where's Popeye? I think it's not in the filing cabinet, because we already tried that and it said no. It said no, naughty boy. You can't do that. Can do it? Oh, we found a... That's me, my ex-wife. Is this a Shell Beach poster killed. from Dark City? This was ages ago, before I got kicked off the force. Lovely. Burnt a lot of bridges, didn't you, Mr. Carbon? You can't go home again. No, you can't. I guess. The long and short of it hey, is... Oh, Bingo. there's the olive oil. Okay. There's that stupid olive oil. Awesome. So now we can fix our... Do I need to oil it first, or... Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, yeah? Excuse me one sec. Okay, so I guess we've got to unscrew the parts of his arm which are causing the problem, I guess. So can I then take off the actuator cap? Oh yeah, I need to take the screws away. Okay. Okay, and the last one. Let's open up then. Actual paperwork in his gears. To clear a paper jam in his arm. Lovely. Yeah, with his hand. Just to pry out the paper. Red tape gumming up his works. His life in a nutshell. So now maybe I need to use the olive oil, I guess. Olive oil should keep the actuator looped up and functioning. Should be all the repairs for now. Can I... Why is... Okay. Take that. Pop it back on. I don't need to pick up the screws. I need to change to my screwdriver and... That's as tight as it's going to go. There's some noise in the background that I was hoping wouldn't be an issue, but obviously it is. There we go. And I'll tighten up this one. Not much exciting going on with doing that part at the moment, but you know. 
I'm sure it will get more interesting. And he's fixed his arm. Yeah, it doesn't sound like he's a very happy person. But at least we can leave now. Oh, lovely. People living in containers. I guess. I got an address. Uh, 306 Sunrise Apartments. 306 Sunrise Apartments? Yeah, this is one of those mixed species, mixed income community building places. Thing is, community ain't exactly building according to code here. It certainly doesn't look like, like it. a cross between the projects, a real favela, and Burning Man. Ah, I don't see any room numbers, no directories, not even a single listing on cheapapartments.com. I can see a this person though. Totally off -grid. I can see a person I can talk to. Oh, I've just missed a piece of. Eh, I better take the stairs first. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think you were gonna. What? Jump up it? I mean, you could try jumping up it, but I think it would be a bad idea. Okay, apparently I can't just walk up there. That's what else have we got? Can you open these doors? Hello? No answer. Nothing. What about this door? Any luck there, do you think? Hey, anybody home? Got a robot kid. Right, how do I climb those stairs? Nothing. Eh. Uh. I better take the stairs. Well, first. yeah, I just clicked I don't know walk parkour, upstairs. If I hurry, eh, uh, I better take the stairs yeah, first. But yeah, I don't but know parkour. what? Wait, so. Oh, wait. Eh. Uh, no, how do I get up the stairs then? Oh, wait, there. there. Yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. That was my fault more than anything else. Talk to this Good lady. Morning, I'm Carl Carbon, looking for Todd and Suzette Silica. Suzette Silica. Do you know them by any chance? Todd and Suzette. Yeah, that's Their that's what I said. Parents. Their kid's name is Johnny. Johnny Silica. Todd and Suzette and Johnny. Yeah, I knows them. What do you want with them? I'm Johnny's social worker. I'd like Carl. to talk to them, I'm here to if check possible. So you're another one of them CPS fascist bastards. Come down from your big fancy floating city. If that's, if that's what you believe. From some poor groundling family in the pile. No, no ma'am. No, I'm just I'm here just to make here sure to they're okay. Do your job, yeah, I know. We's all got a job to do, ain't we, Mr. Carbon? I don't know, do you? Keep your mind is on, keep your head down, get by. So, can you tell me where Johnny is? Tell you what. You see that power meter up there? No. Ma'am, uh, I don't understand what this has to do I think it's pretty with. obvious what it has to do with it. She wants you to fix it, presumably. Most folks around here call me Grandma Lucy, but Mrs. Lucy will do. And I said, do you or do you not see that metal box? No, because uh, that's in the yeah. way. Yeah, it's that's there. That's Coastlandia City's power meter. Locked shut. Okay... You get that I'm a social worker, not a the smart grid thingy. So not an electrician, damn it. Do it, and then I'll think about informing you as One to sec. Todd and Suzette's whereabouts, sir. So you want me to fix a junction box? So you want me to illegally tamper with Coastlandia property? So you can oh, that's even better. From the grid for free. Hey, we was harvesting our own sun juice from the sky with solar chrome trees. We was self-sustainable, 100% renewable. Then the city department of assholes come down. I think that's a real department. Sorry, come on. Those trees pose fall hazards. The wrecking crews. That's not a real department. Them down every week. <laughs> Believe me, I know the city can be shady. We all know that. Do you ever think maybe they got the regulations genuinely for your own safety? 
Uh, a few thousand pounds of metalloplastic organism so growing on top to of fix something there. Take down one of these organically constructed mashup buildings. If you say I so. believe that. Except when Coastlandia couldn't prove the hazard rate, then the next week the bureaucrats called the trees gray goo dangers and gray goo dangers species. Truth is, they just want us gone. Yeah, bottom line, sounds about right. We didn't ask for the grid. We don't want the high city's electricity. We don't want nothing from that corrupt Babylon. But they install the meters anyway. Charge exorbitant rates we can't afford for juice we could have been yeah. providing for our own selves. So you tell Doesn't sound much different from present day, does it? Should we choose between feeding our kids and baby bots and having lights in our homes? That sound fair to you? So why me? It was just a matter of breaking into the box and hot wiring it. Why don't one of you tenants just take a pair of bow cutters up there and do it yourself? We would, but the smart grid just means that it knows when someone who ain't supposed to be fiddling with it is. Garcia tried last week and the box and a bazillion volts of electro do straight through his chest. Well, thanks, I suddenly feel so much better about doing it for you. Fell four stories, broke into a dozen burnt pieces on the methane well down below. Bless his soul. And you want me to do it? All oh, right. Fair enough. But he's literally half the robot he used to be. It sounds like breaking into that box is signing your own death warrant. Lady, I ain't that desperate. Thing is, you, Mr. Carbon, have Coastlandia government ID. The smart grid is smart, but not that smart. You put in oh, your that. ID. <coughs> thinking you on Excuse me, business. sorry. Except... If anyone calls up the history on that power meter, they'll find my gov ID as the most recent access. I'm not big on prison. I don't think anyone's going to be that bothered. When you hack the box, it should delete the history. Theoretically. It is a risk, no doubt. Am I hacking it? There should be no sweat for a scruffy Denzel Washington looking cop like yourself. Oh yeah, he looks just like Denzel hey, Washington. I am yeah. not scruffy. And I'm not a cop, damn it. If you say so. <sighs> I guess I don't have a choice, huh? Lucky me. So how'd I get up Lucky there? Lucky you, Mr. Social Worker. You get a chance to actually help those in need, like your man. Oh, there. Say. Okay. Your blackmail skills were all the inspiration I needed. Okay. So all I've right. got to go up those oh, stairs. This here is Garcia's hack chip. You'll need to take out the one inside the power box and replace it with this. A little melted around the edges from when the anti-tampering mechanism <sighs> cooked him. But it should fit just fine. Shoot it. And it'll definitely work, will it? Okay, well, let's walk upstairs. And let's just see if this works. Wait, if the power meter's blown, then that's going to be a problem, right? Isn't it? Yeah, great. I need this. What's that? I guess I can't use that. Another credit card and some money. And okay. So we want to use this, I guess. To get this box working, yeah? Yeah, okay, but can I... Oh, it's... Alright, sorry, yeah. Oh well, yeah, I need to go to that, right? And then... Okay. Oh, it can... It can... Uh... Okay, so... I guess we use our card there then. Can't use those. Okay, so where exactly is my does my card come into things? Okay, but Okay, so I go to this. Huh. A glass window. 
That's pretty stupid for a genius box. Is it? About as smart as a convertible space car. What? Attempt to break the glass? No. Uh, better not. The last guy got fresh with an inner genius box got his ass electrofied. And I ain't looking to win the Darwin Awards. Sure, but... Huh. I'm... But I, I said I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to die. Yeah. So, okay, what? Can't use that. Uh, tampering with energy in this enclosure is a city state offence. Unauthorised use may result in eventualities, including but not limited to serious injury, death, incineration, and or complete disintegration. Well, we definitely want to... We definitely want to mess around with that. Bolt cutters won't cut it. Guess I'll have to science this. Well, but she said to use the... I mean, he said something about the incinerator, and that's this, but I have to replace the igniter. It's something that burns sparks or gets hot enough to light the torch's fuel. Also, the fuel tank's empty. There must be some O2 around here somewhere. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it doesn't look like it. See if anyone anyone's answered any doors that might have some stuff we can use. Hey, anybody home? Oh, a pregnant pause or just some silence. Hey, anybody home? <laughs> nope. Nothing. Well, there's a green door. What happens at the green door? Hey, anybody home? Nada. Nothing. De nada. Okay, well, can we talk to this kid? He doesn't seem to want to talk. Could that be because I'm too far away from him? I need this tank. That's what I need. I need this tank. Yeah, well... Well, okay, yeah. I keep forgetting you need to... I'm gonna need that. Excuse me. I'm out of O2 for my OxyZef blowtorch. I need 99.995% pure oxygen, and you've got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I better... Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to be half in it. Half in oxygen, eh? Yeah, but the igniter's broken too, so how am I going to ignite it? I mean, that's great, I've got oxygen in there, but... I still need an igniter, something small that burns. I didn't see anything lying around. Is there something over here, maybe? What's that? It's like a place you can go into. What's that? Junk hand thing. A last-gen hype-tech cyber arm. Even older than the one he's got. I see. Um, what have we got here? What's all this stuff? An old car. Does it have a cigarette lighter on it by any chance? Something fishy about the radio. How about we turn this knob? Aha! Broke it off. <laughs> Maybe we do. Well, sometimes sticking your finger in empty sockets is a good thing, surely. Nothing. Nothing. Just do anything? Oh, we've got like a synthesizer. Oh dear, a female deer. It's oh, okay, whatever. Press that button. Since it's a button, not a hole. Nothing happened. What's that one do? Nothing.
Okay, I presume there's some kind of code there. But... That would just be a guess. I need something to... Hello? Anybody home? Guess not. I talk to this robot kid. Why the hell are you smoking anyway? You're <laughs> silicon and chrome. You ain't got lungs or any meatware to get a buzz. You old so. black honky. Smoke can be straight up about flexing that badass style. Is that what's about? No, okay. And they're illegal. You know these are illegal to smoke for more than 15 seconds or 2.15 milligrams of For a human. Food, right? You and I, man, fleck off, dog. You tripping on my flow. Short of my circus yeah, and why would it? Why, why would a robot be worried about nicotine? Cop? Am I wearing a name tag that says, Hi, I'm your friendly yeah. police officer. Yeah, I think you are. Nah, nah, bro. That's about your attitude and stuff, you know? Bruce Willis vibe. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Oh, yep, Kaye, yeah. The dragon with the seed and hairline and shit. So I've been compared to Bruce Willis and Denzel Washington so far. It's interesting. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm still gonna need that cigarette, kid. Oh hell no! I straight up. Hey, I'm a cop. Remember? Maybe I'm behind. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Gangbanger arrest quota. Maybe I report. Or you could just go in your car and get your one. And illegal cancer-inducing levels of cigarette consumption. LMAO, dog. Uh, That's well, best blackmail? Really? One, I beat all Metallica up inside my respirators. Yeah, exactly. Black lung cancer shit. And B, them dwanky coasters. One and then B. No really? A one and B. Yeah, they don't care. That's true. You got a big mouth on you for a ghetto bot boy. I'll give you that. Smart ass. Okay, I need something. Have I got something I can give him, maybe? Would he want... this? No, I guess not. What's that? No, oddly, he doesn't want that, whatever it is. Can I tease him? No. Can't tease him. Man, what else is he going to talk to me about? Never mind. Ah, uh, I need that cigarette thing off him, whatever it is. Well, that was a big ass hole. Well, I like to see if he puts his hand in a big ass hole. Hey, hello. Anybody home? No dice. No, there is not. There is nobody home. Guess we're going back this way. I'll speak to that lady. Alright, so I can't... I can't leave until I've got that. I feel like there's something I'm... Oh, what's that? Some fluorescent green ooze. Mm-hmm. Wow. What's this? What's he saying? There's something in a crack? Can't even see what it is. Mm. Can that pry it out? It's like Robocop. Oh, one vial of pure mythium. Well, no. I guess. He might want that. Do you think he might want that? Shall we see if he wants that? I'm still gonna need that cigarette, kid. Popo, you got bugs up in your meat brains? As I already told you, no. That's for sentient well, machines, isn't it? Son, see, I got this big fat vial of mythium. Really? Got <laughs> oh, really? Mythium narcotics. Mythium that you just tried to hustle to me, a cop. Cause you're just that flacking stupid. The judge will buy the stupid angle too. And since you're a minority species robot in the drug war 2.0, automatic conviction. Yeah. You can't. Can't just give me the what? Thing. Hey, 
Maybe I plant the powder in your underwear with my anti-robot taser. No. You fucking son of a... Just try me, player. Oh. If I'm tripping up your swag, no one will miss another wannabe toaster gangbanger. Just oh, they don't. Me. give me an excuse to short those idiotic circuits of yours. Ah, yeah. Fine, Popo. Take the yeah, you could have just given it to me anyway. Thanks. Of course, maybe they're remember, worth more. Kid, they cost more money at this drugs. point. As he takes a draw on the oh, cigarette. And, uh, stay in school. Yeah, stay in school, buddy boy. Like I'm sure he goes to school, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thank Jobs for unfettered abuse of power. Oh, you'll love that, won't you? Uh, right. So what am I doing? Do I... Where is it? Doesn't appear to be there. Well, let's go this way and see what happens. What just happened there? Oh, I know what's happened there. It's not in a full window when I'm playing it. Um, and I clicked it just out of the window. So it's my own fault that things went a bit odd for a second there. For me at least. Maybe they were fine for you. I don't know. Uh, but let's go up the stairs. So, have I got to use my... Um, this on there? Yeah, well, apparently I've got this cigarette thing, but... Oh, wait. There it is. Oh, what? So what, I need to do that? Alright, there we go. Inject that into that. Solar chrome trees. Smart cigarette should work as an igniter for the blowtorch. Need something to stick it in place. Something sticky that holds stuff together. Well, why didn't it say that before? Duct tape, of course. This wallet's the only tape I've got right now. Can you not just peel off a bit? Overdrawn bank card. That will do nicely. There we go. Bit of duct tape. Problem solved. Just don't use it all at once. Nice. The oxy's acetylene torch is working. Burning hot enough to cut tungsten. Cutting tungsten, are we? Well, let's go here. Now, does that mean that I can use this? Where am I supposed to use it? On the lock? I guess on the lock, yeah. Warning. So now... You are illegally tampering with government property. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, no, no. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a government employee. Uh, officially officiating uh, official government activity. Definitely not tampering. <laughs> well, that's believable, uh, isn't just, it? Just uh, testing your uh, structural integrity. That's definitely you know, believable. In case of a real energy thief tamperer. Yep, you're uh, nice and solid and uh, theft uh, deterring, all right. Continued infraction detected. As a pseudo sentient artificial well, wait. consciousness, I am hereby authorized to neutralize you. Can I not use my ID? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no neutralization necessary. Uh, emergency shutdown. What is your major malfunction? <laughs> uh, remember the first rule of robotics. Uh, I must not. All right, all right, Isaac Asimov. I just got, well, I just got obliterated. I'm sorry. There was a flight miscalculation in neutralization measures. Medical personnel. Medical personnel have been alerted. Someone tells me I need to do that again. But how? If I do it that way, I get. Hold on. So what am I supposed to do with my card? Because she said something about having my ID. Oh, I'm just so stupid. It's just so stupid that I didn't even see that card slot. Damn. Looks like my card worked, but the mag locks aren't disengaging. Alright, I see. I just I made a I'll slight... I made a slight miscalculation there. So 
so now that I have access I can do it and it won't be a problem. I guess. We'll soon see. Huh. A glass. No. Uh, better not. Okay, so so if I use my card again, does that open now? Okay, we've we've cut the lock, but the question is there we go. So we want to take that cartridge and we want to drop in the one that's slightly melted. Is it that one there? Okay, gives away free electricity and no weapons. Can I close it? Or is that it? Do I just leave now? I guess so. It's done. Done, diddly done. It's Thank. done. You've got free energy until Coastlandia runs out, or they figure you're stealing power from the grid and toss you into a recycle bin. Which is potential. Potential, which is possible, isn't it? Okay. Now about the civil Yeah, where are they? Oh, they're not here anymore. As much as the goodwill of your <laughs> tenants is appreciated. Please don't do that to me. I'd appreciate keeping my job even more. Oh yes, yes of course. The silica's unit is at the end of this level. The door, the door. the great Hyundai car's body. Santa car's body. That section after the accident. Well, I'll let them tell you. Anyway, if you look in the dashboard of the car, there's six, seven, eight, seven, five, one. With tape deck, station memory. Hit the sequence six, seven, eight, seven, five, one. That's the all clear code for the silicas. They won't come out otherwise. There was another cop came by looking for Johnny, but he wasn't up to no good. Had the devil's look about him. Why didn't you tell me about this earlier? We wasn't sure you wasn't another boogeyman of Babylon, Mr. Carbon. But since you don't okay. your high city slicker bureaucrat network, I've already forgotten what that code was. We can trust you. You understand. Sure, I guess. Well, thanks for the tip, Grandma. Remember, six. Seven, oh thank eight, goodness! Seven, five, one. Six seven eight seven five one, and that's that. Pl this thing over here. Six seven eight seven five one. I have to keep repeating it because I will forget it. Six seven eight seven five one. Six seven eight seven five one. So we want six seven eight seven five. One. What the hell is this a transformer disguise? It's a Dolby radio or something. Yes. The long obtrusive uh, thing this requires us to talk. It's a microphone. Services. I'm looking for Tata and Suzette Silica. Is this their residence? Oh, so sorry, Mr. Carbon. Yes, this is Suzette speaking. Good. Can I speak to you, please? Todd? Get the hell up! It's Johnny's social worker! Well, oh, Todd's, uh... Well, you were wrong. Don't blame this shit on me. Get Johnny up and get his ass out here! Johnny! Hey! You know you haven't turned off your here? microphone, right? Uh, be right there, Mr. Carbon. Go ahead and come to the metal door inside the body of that car there on your left. Sure, I'm coming with well, blood on the door. I'm sure there was not blood on the door before. Oh yeah, you can see there's a car there, see? Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Silica? Why are they gonna open up? What the hell are they? What's this? Blood on the door. What? Was this here before? I don't remember blood on the door before. So in the few feet between there and there. Mrs. Gonna have to boot the door down. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Carbon. We'll right wait, there. what? That's not them, is it? I don't think that's them. Uh oh. Unless they're Terminators. 
Are they Terminators? Are they Terminators? Oh, Flack! An exterminator! What's an exterminator? Hey, whoa! Relax, man! I'm Todd Silica! I live here! Well, where's Suzette? Why is there Flack and like a, all over like a, door? Like a hippie terminator? Totally is a happy terminator. Awesome. I don't know about no blood. What the hell took you so long? Hey, I'm sorry, man. We're just uh trying to chat you up a bit. Sorry. Put the flame away. Why was there blood on the door? Jobs Christ. Okay, sorry, Mr. Silica. Let's start over. I'm Carl Carbon, a social worker from Sentient Services. We received uh -huh. a call today regarding your children, and I wanted to come in and talk to you and your wife about it. Is that okay? No. Uh, okay. We don't have no problems here. Be my guest. Cool, let's do that then. Good afternoon, Mr. Carbon. Nice to see you. I don't Please. think her name's Bandsaw, oh, so there must be a Bandsaw there. In? Of course, make yourself at home. Okay. So, she's got two plastic legs and a goldfish bowl in her stomach. Sorry if you had a hell of a time finding us. Language, Todd? I'm sorry, I don't think the word hell is going to be a major problem here. Is that so? What sort of characters have been coming by? We ain't quite sure to be Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, you know, those kinds of things. Broken locks the other day. Could be just some local hoodlums. Well, that's understandable. This dive isn't exactly the Hamptons, no. is it? No, no, it certainly isn't. Uh, so well, hey, at least now you're giving them I mean, power, right? Better safe than sorry. Did you call the police? Well, yes, we did. Although they, uh, they what? Well, they telepresenced in with one of them remote-controlled robocops. Didn't really do much investigating. Robocops. Police don't really put a lot of effort into the low city. Uh, under-resourced areas like these. I no, see. well... I just isn't that true all the time? Cut it off a crashed space station in a junk pile. Four-inch terithium. Real secure. Todd Sal yeah. it off a very abandoned craft. Oh. All very legal. Isn't that right? Why was there blood on it? concerned about the safety of our family, ain't we, Todd? Yes, ma'am, we are. But you stole it. Do you mind if I have a look around, Mr. and Mrs. Silica? Well, I better do the official CPS investigation here. I should probably look around a bit more and ask questions to ensure there's no child abuse going on in this home. So let's see. Band saw. Set for cutting metal plates. Do you leave power tools plugged in in the living room? Well, uh, we can't afford a lot of square footage, so we've had to, uh, Downsides. Yeah, but still, so I mean... So you have a kitchen-slash-industrial-workshop hybrid? I prefer to think of it as When you think about it, it's not the safest of things, is it? Things. At least that's what my buddy from Portland called it. Well, that explains it. Is dangerous equipment accessible to miners? <sighs> yes. What's this? Promo trees, some kind of aluminium based synthetic life made by the humanoids. The machine people's idea of community beautification. Of course, Landia bigwigs aren't happy about it though. Don't like any life form they can't control carbon or otherwise. The leaves are a form of, giga of organic, I always said gigantic, gigantic, organic polysilicon that act as solar panels. You can wire straight into the tree and tap it for electricity, like extracting syrup from a maple tree. Dangerous transgenic synthetic life forms. I don't think that's dangerous, so I'm going to say no. What's that? A vehicle part from the pre-renewable energy era, before the oil crash. Gas guzzlers, they used to call them. Nowadays, they mostly guzzle up real estate and landfills like the one this complex was built on. But it's not a problem, apparently, so... Pretty neat chairs made from old plumbing welds together. I guess that's what the band saws for. Why is there copper wire? Is it stolen? 
Possibly strip this from utility lines, copper wires in the blood vessels for new robotic limbs and necessary. If you want to be your own personal electrician and live off the grid. A faucet spouts oil instead of water, which makes sense for uh, sentient machines, doesn't it? So, lack of access to clean water. No, well, the machines, do they need clean water? I'm saying no. I'm saying no. That's a little dangerous. An electric plasmatron furnace for melting down scrap aluminium, or aluminium, sorry, because this is not a British game, of course. Uh, other metals and recasting into new objects, but this could be a major fire hazard. Presence of fire hazards. I mean, I have to say yes to that, don't I? I have no choice. A mold for casting your robotic arm. Robotic? Robotic arm out of molten metal alloys. Aside from the potential burn and fire hazards, this kind of thing is frowned upon by robotics and cybernetics core, like hype tech. And by frowned upon, I mean illegal and resulting in fines. Uh, nope, no evidence of criminal activity. I'm going to overlook it because screw the government. Sharp objects left exposed. Nope, not doing that. Let's look at what this is. It's a work area where they put together new robotic parts. Circuit servos and tools, that looks like some kind of high torque force feedback manipulator, robotic arm modding and self construction is a big no no. And I highly doubt they have the cybernetics license permits and all the rest. Illegal unlicensed self modification. No. Screw it, I'm not gonna not gonna turn them in for that. Although I feel like I should probably be speaking to them first, shouldn't I? This isn't family family pictures, the cherry red android looks like she might be one of the love dolls. Who had their slave chips removed and given priest personhood when the Sentient Rights Act was passed. The other looks like he's from Todd's product line lineage. If you say so. Fridge magnets. What the hell is Soylent? It's people, of course. It says they're a greener health nut food. What have we got here? Some batteries? To get the Everrax installed batteries here. Pretty common in sentient machine households since bread and meatloaf and food in general is useless. Electricity is in high demand. You do need a special permit. These seem like nice enough people. Should I let this slide? Yes, you should. Because are electrical hazards really a major problem in a building full of robots? Let's talk to him. Didn't I see you in sentient services? Uh, didn't I run into you back at SS? You get the meds and therapy vouchers you needed? I got a Ken doll cheapo plastic leg. Looks like they cut it from a mannequin at a Sears fire set. Doesn't set. sound particularly useful. It's on the it's me too. But hey, positive thinking. Positive on, thinking. Hey. Who needs the man? The man right? Uh, well. Keeps my aggressive programming confused and my chakras at wide bend. Oh, he's a new age hippie robot. I have to ask about your habits. But I have to ask. Do you ever partake of the MG? I think he produces it. To take the edge off. I'll be honest. I did bake my processor to near blue screen when I was first discharged from the service. I was in a terrible place, man. My shockers all out of alignment. I did some. Let's just listen to him. Of. Seems like these guys don't I get much of a. Over don't get a fair Great shake. Jobs, man. That's good to hear. Parents misuse of drugs and alcohol, so no, not anymore. And what about her? Interesting doorbell. Quite an elaborate doorbell setup. Secret AM FM radio codes. I'm real sorry, Mr. Carter. We've just been having these incidents of late, so Todd did some uh Tinkering and fixed us an intercom. It's probably not a bad idea. And Lucy agreed to help us out as well. She's like the matriarch around here. She used to run a halfway home for first gen trans species kids orphaned by their. I mean, I feel like this kid's not in any danger, really, but then again, we might need to speak to them. We still need to speak to him, don't we? Can you give me any more information on these suspicious strangers? Now that you mention it, 
We did have someone come by claiming he was Johnny's social worker, but we sure as hell didn't recognize him. Pardon my French. When we said Johnny wasn't here, he just disappeared. He disappeared. That ain't what you call due process or standard protocol or whatever for a social worker. They're supposed to come in and check around and ask questions anywho. Yep. That's when we knew something was right fishy. So why someone you else's call Coastlandia Sentient Services and let them know. Yeah, you know why? Because well, they'd have walked in and looked I'm around. I'm not sure how uh, high up the food chain this thing went. Maybe the guy was sent by the giants up in High Town. E five four fun? Yeah, you know those high Maybe, but are out there. Reptilian race of Ubermen. Oh reptilians. Reptilians. I highly doubt this is to do with some massive corrupt scheme of the government and corporation. But you had the right instinct, playing it cautious. Yeah. Uh. uh what's the deal with the Toyonde wall and the soda cans and That's stuff? A slightly different question. Yeah, we uh, ran out of actual drywall and cement and stuff after that fire came through and the crunk lab exploded. Oh downstairs. my goodness! Burned half the building. We gotta upcycle whatever junk. This we does got not sound like a out. safe place to live. I don't know. Sounds like if you can find a hipster, they might be able to do it for you. What have we got? <laughs> I see you've got a cute little mini bot there. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Carbon, sir. Yeah. How old? 13,486 cycles. I mean, Princess is 18 months as of this July. Okay. Princess. That's her name. We're hoping she aspires to reach for the stars, or at least the Geosync Sky City someday. She's our pride and joy. I'm Always sure good to aim high. I've got a couple ankle biters myself. Their mom does a great job. That's great to hear, Mr. Carbon. Please. Just, just Carl will do. Do you mind if I have a look? Of course, Mr. Carl. <laughs> so what am I doing? I'm looking at a random oh, weird baby robot. <laughs> oh, very nice. I hear you're royalty, little princess. I'll be sure to get you a tiara for your birthday. <laughs> Creepy. Uh oh. <laughs> she knows my name. Now I've got to make good on that tiara, or she'll come from my head when she's queen. Probably nothing. <sighs> I hate to be the G-Man bureaucrat, but I have to ask, those burn marks on our chassis... <laughs> those are nothing. When we mm -hmm. were assembling her ghost into her current shell, we had to replace a few panels with spare parts. Those burns were on the paneling of the previous robot. Why? Sorry, I just what? have to officially ask. Government mandates and all that crap, you know. I understand, Carl. I believe her story. Yeah, I'm just gonna help these people. I don't care. Got a so bun got in the a oven. In the oven there. Oh yes, this youngin's in the third trimester of what we're developing. No, gestational digibetes. Digibetes. That's an interesting concept. No, yeah. Nothing like that. Digital Most diabetes. Yeah. The horse. That's great. When was the last checkup? Uh, let's see, the twenty-first. Yeah. So no other issues. The amniofate fluid in your gestatrix looks a little on the green side. I mean, the game is obviously quite wordy. Uh, it's not, that's not really a problem for me. I quite like it, the concepts and the ideas. To some people, maybe they might not like as much speaking, a uh, bit more kind of adventure, but I actually, I actually really like this, this concept. And presumably, we're still quite early on in the game. I mean, we're only learning what Carl's job is and all that kind of stuff, aren't we? Let's take a look at this. What have we got? License was issued by Fly by Night Black Clinic Operation. Expired a couple of years ago. I could force her to have an abortion if I want to be an ass about it, but I don't care, so... It's a crap job. Uh, that's, that's all for now. Let's talk to him again. Uh, Hasta la vista, baby. We're doing that, really. Uh, namaste, my brother. 
<laughs> Namaste, okay. Keep up the good fight, soldier. No faith but what we make, brother. So let's make it a sweet one. Sounds like a plan. Stand. The copper wire's not working, apparently. Is there more in this room that I've not found? This is the Terminator music in the background too, isn't it? Kind of. Kind of. I'm trying not to draw too much attention to it. And we've got spare parts. Lots of spare parts. Lack of medical care. No. Sounds like they take care of themselves, to be honest. Oh no, I didn't mean to bring that up. Excuse me. Car frame. Compacted car chassis constitutes the upper half of the wall. Definitely a violation of building codes. Yeah, the whole building's a violation of building codes. Not inadequate housing. Completed my investigation. Well, I've collected all the information that I need, Mr. and Mrs. Silica. So everything's okay then? Not as of now. Uh, Sentient Services CPS will need to do some further review of your case. He's gonna get fired. I didn't said, think of that. We'll contact you if we need to. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna turn in a report, and they're gonna go. Someone. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. It's just that that done then, is it? Yeah, yeah. Namaste and all that. They're not bad folks, even for robots. Uh, they might still get their kids taken by CPS. They probably will, won't they? I sure as hell don't want to be the agent to do it. I'm out of here. But you know, why should it be? Oh, we got a phone call. Better answer your phone or you'll get shouted at. Carbon. Good news. I found the silicas. I've just about wrapped up the CPS home visit. Yeah. It's good. Real good. Look, Carbon, I... We need you to do something for us. What? What is it? What do you mean, we? The royal we? The editorial we. We need you to find a reason to take the Silica's children into child no. protective No, 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 no. What? Why? What, what the hell? They, yeah. they haven't done anything to warrant immediate child removal, as far as I can see. Yeah. Look, they're living in a hopeless ghetto. Their oldest kid is getting into multiple felonies. He'll wind no, well, up doing screw you, buddy. Life before he turns 19. I ain't doing that. We're doing them a favor. He'll have a better life in foster care. What? As another statistic? Another one of the thousands yeah, exactly. of sentient machine foster kids who get abused Say no, to death, don't do it. The bottomize on cyborg drugs don't do it. And wind up You'll probably lose your job, but you're probably going to lose your job anyway. be experimented on by mega corporations and government? Hey, hey, where the hell do you get off questioning my authority? Maybe you've been off the force a while, so you forget yeah, what a Get off questioning the authority is. when this you're trying wrong, to tell us to I'll admit, harm I've people. I've outside the lines, bent the law here and there as a cop, even broke it a few times. But it was always for the right reasons. Whatever you're doing here, think yeah, about Yeah, you're just it, screwing man. these people. Whatever this is about, it's nothing good. There's absolutely this no reason to do this. anything other than you continuing to have employment in a 60% unemployment <sighs> cluster flag of the post-robot AI economy. I've got plenty of sob story ex-cops, ex-construction workers, I'll get one of them to do it then. Everything's looking for a job, all just waiting to take your place. So what? You're going to admin explain to me how it is? Throw some depression 2.0 grass in my face? Like I'm not mm. also a peon living in the sum sprawl every day. That's goddamn cliche shuffler, even for you. Cut the threat mongering and fire me already. This wasn't a job. It was always just <laughs> a piece of shit excommunication Good from way the police to quit your department job, sentence. See if I give a shit. You really need to be the goddamn Boy Scout, huh, Carbon? Do you want to wind up living in some machine and franken people in the junkyard mind. eating dog food for if dinner? If they're better to me than people like you. You think I like ordering <laughs> people to take kids from their parents? Yeah, no. I think you do. Yeah. Even if they're slum dog potheads, it's a terrible thing tearing a child from his mother's arms. But I also have a wife and kids to take care of in a big ass high city mortgage to flip. Really? You've got a wife or an ex-wife too, right? Johnny, yeah. I've got your my life profile up here on my screen. Beautiful kid you've got. I can see why you care about those ghetto bot kids. Why? They're like surrogate children. 
You get to see him more than once a month after the divorce. Uh huh. You can be their guardian angel to make up for when you weren't there for your own son. Shame if something were to happen. Really? Don't you I'm talk going about that way. family, Shuffer. You son of a... I'm trying to get you to think about your family, Carbon. You stuck-up bastard. You don't get to be a hero. We're pawns in a feud bigger than we can imagine. Yeah, well. Now, do you want to be I, a pawn that becomes I'm gonna damage? Reel the against one that, that makes it across the board, gets promoted to if a I can, world. I mean, I don't know, obviously. Get off but... your goddamn romantic rebel high horse and turn the cogs of the machine. Before no. Leviathan grinds you up and swallows you and yours. I'm done talking to you, Mr. Carbon. Mr. Social Worker. <coughs> Find grounds to take that kid into custody, or consider yourself terminated. Yeah, I'm not gonna do I've that. Got if I'm gonna go in their house and tell them that they need to hide, the of the children, along can I do with that? Do you think? Order. Let's find out. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, screw that. Screw that. Shell Beach, yeah. Sorry. I ain't doing this. Screw that. I need to tell you guys something. Oh hi, Mr. Carbon. Unfortunately, Mr. and Miss What do you mean we've discovered? Oh. Uh um uh Firstly, this apartment itself is not up Ugh. to Coastlandia building. Really? Coast. Grow a backbone, Walls buddy. shown his face in three months to repair so much as the shorty light. We can't afford to go buying actual building materials on my salary. This junkyard junk's all we got. Yeah, this is just... Mr. Silica, your housing issues oh, are not God's my responsibility. Sake. You'll need to take that up with Section 9 housing. Yeah, like they're actually being helpful. They denied request for housing on account of an affordable housing shortage. Yeah. Please, Mr. Silica. Do you have a license to operate that furnace and the other robotic development equipment? Well, no. Coastlandia wouldn't give us a license to make parts. But we got broken ball joints, yeah. oil changes, CPU defrays, iron bracelets. We ain't got money nor Don't do this to these people. No one ever asked for no license. And yeah, okay, they're breaking a it few doesn't matter what you regulations you are legally manufacturing prosthetics here that are way outside regulation what uh I, I don't think i understand your child is living here in dangerous conditions a according to code 337 subsection oh, c come because on. your child Why? is living in dangerous conditions Why? required by law to take your children into cyborg child protective services it's nothing personal you're not serious. You've got to be shitting me. Unfortunately, this is Silica. I am dead serious. <sighs> Just a cog in the corporate wheel. That's all he'll ever be. Oh my god! Suzette, get behind She's me! She's on the other side of the room. Oh Jesus! on the other side of the room. Sir, ma'am, are either of you in possession of a weapon or is there a weapon somewhere in the house? Yeah, you've no, got one in your hand. can't do this. Carl, tell him. Tell him this is just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry, Todd. I wish it was, I but you see, Carl has no spine. Get away from our kids. And you're going to get yourself Sir, killed. We have a court order to take your children yeah, and I didn't get it. Custody. For the sake of your family, please step aside. No! This can't be happening! This is kidnapping! Yes, it is. Sir, step aside now. In this occasion, at least it is, yeah. Okay, okay. Just don't hurt my wife and kid. This is my child, my baby. Carl, you backstabbing bastard, you're tearing our family apart. How can you live with yourself? How well, can you sleep probably tonight? can't. I'm sorry, Mrs. Silica. I'm, I'm sorry. This is out of my hands. J just do as they say and you won't be harmed. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to come and grab the baby. So please don't resist and don't fight me. 
Okay. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please just go easy on them officers. Yeah, whatever. They're not going to go easy on anyone, are they? You're hurting her. Get back. Chris. X800 military model approaching. Engaging hostile. He's gonna get shot, he's gonna get destroyed. Oh well done, he shot his hands off. As he was holding them up. Jobs H not attacking you at all. I said they wouldn't be harmed. Do you wanna start another robot riot? Like the Trayvon King incident? He didn't do anything wrong. No he didn't. Disobeyed a police command, sir. No he didn't. Don't worry, we do this all the time. We have a deal with the tech companies to limit media fallout. That doesn't make it better. Besides, we're doing a good thing here. Saving kids from abusive parents. Most of these machines are defective scum anyway. You should be proud of yourself. No, no, okay, you shouldn't. Let's wrap this up. Okay, more about. Yes, sir. That job. The than helping product. those people. Where is the second humanoid dependent? The teenager, Johnny. I, I don't know. Johnny wasn't at his school. The, the parents don't know where he is. What the hell? Aren't you guys gonna administer first aid? Of course they're not. Don't be stupid. All right, we're I don't done care. Here. Put out an APB on Johnny Silica. Machine sent you. Last known robotic shell was 5 4. Blue silver chrome. Was that the one outside? Black high -top Achilles attachments. Yeah, it certainly does sound familiar. Where the hell are you going? This is a total breach of due process. Just check something. That's fine. Maybe a breach of due process, but I don't think. Right? Is this Silica? No, I don't. No. Oh my God, Todd. Oh God. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't. Yes, you did. Or... Yes, you did, oh, Carl. Because you cared more about yourself than about these people. You know? More about yourself than these people. It's quite an engaging storyline. What in the world is this? What do they really want these kids for? Yeah. They won't talk to me. Who Who are you? He's a silent person with a weird symbol on his Just face. What the hell is going on? He doesn't speak much, does he? Say something. He's not hey, gonna speak to you, don't I'm be silly. He doesn't care. It's just a not care blast you or something, isn't it? Now he's going all over the place. Oh, there's the boy. There's the thing. Now it's bad. Now it's that. Oh. Freaky. Like a flashback or something? I don't know. Oh, what's going on? Did he just turn me into him? I just failed something that I shouldn't have done. Should I have just let him go? Oh no, I didn't have a choice, did I? He just went. So, wakey wakey, oh, bud. Jobs. My brain feels like it's been pureed in a blender. Who. What the hell was that? I don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm gonna find out. You're not the warrior, because. You're just not. That punk ass bot kid matched those SWAT guys' description of Johnny Silica. Right down to the Reebok Future Step shoes. That underage student I... piss at was my client all along. Mm. He mentioned he got his smart cigarettes AI hack that the arcade. The arcade. Mm. That rings some bells for my time at CPD. 
We did some sting ops and informant fishing down there. Time for a trip down memory lane. Okay, so we're going into the arcade. Wherever that may be. Here we are. Dickinston, Low City. Pretty rough humanoid and camera filled slum. Chimera, whatever. I better watch my step. The arcade should be around here somewhere. It's supposedly an underground hangout run by a robot called. robot gang called the Chrome Boys. Who my client was running with. Their leader's a big time drug lord, goes by the name of Proto J. Presumably they've got something to do with Google as well, do they? Hey! Hey, you! Unicycle leg! Burnout bot! Good way to ingratiate hey. yourself to the locals. No, oh, it's on. It's dragged. Rugged out of its electrical face. Damn it. This junkie's done one too many hits of liquid crystal myth. Blue screened out of his mind. It certainly has. Could try whacking him upside the brain box. Sometimes that works. Come on, snap out of the brain. Or he might kill me. That didn't help. Looks like it didn't He's work. just gone, isn't he? He must be deep in a machine coma. Consciousness stuck in a recursive loop. Got a guy chopping up a car over there. Use this shock technique on sentient machine suspects. A random phone box in the middle. Torture. Uh, I mean, enhanced interrogation techniques. Yeah, you got to remember that they're always called enhanced interrogation techniques. Not torture, guys. Come on, it's not torture. Reset on his machine brain. Kind of like turning the router off and on again. Let's take a look at this robot parts. Just robot parts. What about this bouncer? Does a chassis repair place need a bouncer? Hey, uh, I need to get into the arcade. What's the cover? What does a store like that need a bouncer for? Oh wait, I've just noticed like a stripper thing, so... No, asshole. Not really. The arcade is supposed to be a secret underground club for robot kids. Yeah. What? Like an island of misfit toys for humanoid bots? Sounds about right, yeah. Like the Foot Clan place where the trouble you gather to smoke, skateboard, play video games, and wear out stolen VCRs, and well, so you know it then. Yeah, we get your your various comparisons. You got it. I knew that joke was paying off that way. Personal friends with a high steel chrome. Are you? I'm cool, bro. Bot. Do take what a chrome boy. Bullshit. I mean, he's got no, KB shit. on his head. His handle is. Oh, what was his name again? Proto J. Proto J. And he'll be pissed if he finds out you stiffed the Coastlandia government. I remembered that name. That bailed him out of a two-year sentence for cybernar trafficking. Proto J. I don't, I don't really know what I want that for. Can I give it to that guy that's completely done? Scrape up ten bucks. I feel I'm going to need it. See what this guy's up to. Old chopper. Hey, buddy. How can I get into the arcade? Yeah, he's not gonna tell you, is he? I ain't violating no parole terminals. Give me a break, dog. I'm all legit. 
shit. Just stop cycling this mm -hmm. control leader here. Bring this asshole off the street. It's practically community service. I mean, He's practically, cool but. Officer, dog. I ain't no knock either. I just need to find the arcade to talk to my client, Proto J. Yeah. I'm his defense attorney, and he's got to go over his trial speech, all that shit. Bro, you not spitting no lawyer speak? You ain't got the flag. I'm wandering around in a slum, aren't I? So I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. Back home, baby face all them lawyer shots you got. You don't look like no attorney. <laughs> I work pro bono. Pays, pays rubbish. Yeah, well, if you work pro bono, the pay is pretty shit, yeah. I'm trying to give back, you know? You from Low City too, huh? No shit. Yeah, I guess you do look like you can't afford the water for a shower. Good thing my old back sensor knows thing is broken. He seems to be suggesting that uh, Carl smells a little. No, oh, Where? Hey, Sunshine Apartments. Bush's Sunshine Apartments. My parents were neo hippie bohemians who like to mingle with transgenics and neck people. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. You got that mulatto cyborg thing going on with your right hand. Zing. Okay. Shating. That X900. Tell him. I'm looking for a micro Takamak fusion cell for a T1138. Uh, what? Just do what he says, Takamak and it'll be fine. Micro Takamak fusion cell T1138. Okay, thanks. Oh, and Lawman? Yeah. You do right by Proto J. You'll always have backup in the instance. Do wrong. You grind your bones. By which I mean, chop you up okay. and upside your body parts into new chassis. Well, what you call it? Environmentally conscientious. Environmentally conscientious, yeah, that's the word. Alright, message received, dog. Okay. Now, can I find any money? what I want to do. Can I use this to get in? Uh, could I use my blowtorch on it? I guess I can. And then an easy way to have ten dollars. Lots of cash. Let's pick them up. And that'll do the job. What else have we got? Can we... Take a look at the sign. Doesn't need a lab dance from a love bot. Appears to be plugged into an electrical outlet. Okay. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything you can do with that stuff. Let's go back and talk to this guy. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it was 11.30, wasn't it? Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, he probably won't. How much is that? Here's cash. <laughs> yeah, so what? Door code. Let's go talk to this guy. Sorry. Guess he doesn't know. What was the 
What's the code? I don't remember the code. Did I have the code? Did I even have the code? The shattered door. Keypad on the door, and I don't know what the code is. Unless it's that. No, it's not that. So what is it then? Anything else I can look at? Don't have any idea what the code is. Let's just have a look at him again. Hey. Hey. Damn it. I could try whacking okay. him. Well, let's try. Yeah, doing that. Okay. Oh, I need to recharge the taser. The damn taser. Yeah, I could tase that guy, but... Don't have enough of a charge of my taser. Can I just use that on him? Uh, can't use that in the shuttered door. I've missed it. Have I missed a code somewhere? Was it written somewhere? I don't have any. Doesn't tell me anything, obviously. I don't know, I feel like I missed something. I definitely missed something. Oh, what if I. Switch him off and on again. The obvious way to do that would be to would be to electric would be to shock him. Oh wait, that's plugged into an outlet, isn't it? Stupid. There we go. That'll do nicely. Enough of a charge. Good. So now you're going to use that on him. Which will hopefully sort him out. Has that cleared his head? Let's see if it has. Hey, but buddy, bionic man. You know my friend Sid. No. Sid. Acid. Acid. Sorry, buddy. I, I'm not hustling LSD. I thought California sunshine doesn't work on humanoid bots and other non-biologicals. I'm talking about battery acid, Blender Boy. Just I lucky that I had some. Like now. You got that swanky danky arm, huh? You must know the Chrome Boy. Yeah? I'll give you cash, my solenoids, and backup cooling system. My motherboard! If you give me all of those, you will be alive, probably. Slow down, you damn junkie. You know, there's a reason that Mythium mm. Crap failed all the product safety tests, right? I don't think he cares about product safety tests. I was one of the thousands of high tech cores conscious machines they manufactured to do the safety tests on. We were the Neil Armstrong 
the Buzz Lightyear, exploring the far okay, settle down. Don't go too far. Oh, it's the Blade Runner. Uh, are you sure you actually saw these things? Or did you just trip hallucinogens after binging the on itch. Blade Runner? There are realities out there. In there. Hyper realities, my friend. Realness is a lie. Is he now quoting the Matrix? Is he now quoting the Matrix? of our imagination. You, me, the dirt on the sidewalk, Is the 80s neon, the low city, the high city, neo feudal society. It's all an illusion. Okay, okay, Immanuel Kant. Let's <laughs> say it's an illusion. I still have to live in this body, eat food, take a shit, work for neo feudal bureaucratic assholes. Yeah. Deep mouth words, my friend. Hold on, will I? Um, follow skip size on your code emote. Um, what? Well, he's just you know, trying you out with some words. First came out with the lithium drug. It was called Crash. Because it would crash any humanoid system you took. Any? It's a bit scary. The neurotechs and scientists who tested the substances on us, they used to call us crash test dummies as a joke. Almost all of us went blue screen of death. Yeah, I mean, I, I really do enjoy the way things are going on this game. I'll definitely be playing through it completely. I do think sometimes the text could be a little streamlined. It's a pretty minor, uh, minor problem, though. MK Ultra 2, okay. Yeah, I'm interested to see where the story's going. So I'll definitely be continuing this. Uh, I'll probably go back to what I was doing previously where I would do like a day about of doing a different game each day. With some smaller games like this until I find something else I really want to stick to on a regular basis. Sounds beast, I've already got some. Robo fiends. Hey, look, buddy. Okay. Here's your mythium. Oh, oh, he's turned into Gollum. Uh, can you pass me the door code? Bef okay, okay. You can't just waltz in the arcade, Donkey Kong. Or you'll get yourself barrel rolled. Roll straight into a cyberware chop shop. Yeah, so we're going to be in trouble, is what you're saying. Oh, for goodness sake. He's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking. He's thinking. Please give me a RAM chip. Give me a piece of your brain. Yeah. Cyber brain. Cyber brain. Some shit. I don't know how my I mean, operating system works. I just operate it. Yeah, but anyway, all give me you your RAM. Is recover the door code for my brain RAM. Oh, and before you can get in, you'll need to tell the bouncer the passphrase. They change it all the time, so you'll have to get it from someone like that buzz saw robot. Yeah, well, I've already done that. Okay. So I just decode your scrambled neural circuits to help me get into the arcade. All right. Not that it's my business, but you do realize you're at the end of your yeah. downward spiral of drug use, don't you? I don't you? think he cares. From the looks of it, well, one more hit of Mythium and you're blue screened forever. Permadeath. Who's asking you to save me, Captain America? My actuators are gone. So he doesn't care, basically. Saw my fusion reactor out of me, and I'm 
losing my job, damn mine, to silicon dementia. My cheating bitch of a girlfriend is gone. I got no kids, no friends. I'm just a defective product of hype tech. And you know what? Mm. I don't give a shit. I just want to go out tripping the hardest, most psychedelic balls possible. Bon voyage, buddy. Okay then. So we got a brain chip. Thank you. Goodbye. Right. What's this look like? A piece of his cyber brain apparently has the door code to the arcade stored in it somewhere. He uses his right hand. I always feel like this is slightly. Where are we putting this? Okay, there we go. Stick it in my arm slot. Sounds dodgy. Stick it up your arm slot. Or maybe not. Don't stick it up your arm slot. That'd be bad. See if we can find if I can find any information from him though. Yeah, take a look for the door code. Will it be as easy as that? Seven hits returned. Uh, do I type this? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. Let's see what result one is then. I don't want the Konami code, thanks. It works on uh, all the games in the arcade though, so that's good, I guess. I just type result two. Uh, don't forget to back up source code. Uh, I don't think it's that one. Result three. Call of destruction entry code. Competition. Entry fee is twenty dollars at the arcade. So it's not that one. What's result four about then? Police code for lithium drug trafficking. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need that. Could you not just type door, maybe? Uh, result 5. And now you remembered her that way. Her face bathed in restless laser light. Features reduced to a code. And it's a line, it's a section from Neuromancer. And that's not what we're looking for. Store code for the arcade, 1985. That's what we wanted. There were other results there, but I'm not overly fast about seeing them, so... Well, my was getting into the arcade, and it's 1985. Just want to check one thing, and then we'll continue on. For a little bit longer. I feel like once we get into the arcade, we'll maybe... Save our game. Door code one nine eight five. And we're in. And we're off. I guess enter the doorway. We got us uh, an achievement there. I guess. Well, okay. This must indeed be the arcade. And this, for now guys, is where we're going to save our game. And our save name, as always, is Supernotus. We will save our game. We will make sure our game has saved. And we like it for now. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in so for this uh, today, for the playing of Neo Feud. Uh, as I say, what I'm probably going to do is over the next couple of days I'm going to switch back and forth between this and uh, something else on Xbox. I'm not 100% sure what yet. Uh, possibly Fallout 76, possibly Battlefield 5, uh, possibly a couple of other things, depending on how things are going as well. Uh, but for now, thank you very much guys, and uh, tune in next time to see, not to see what game we've decided to play. Continue to new feed next time we get to play it.
so that should be fun too. Thank you very much, and good night.